What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to my AEW All In 2024 predictions. That's right, predictions time. All In is here, or will be this weekend. I'm filming this on Friday morning, uh, just after 8 o'clock in the morning. I will be by 24-7 on Sunday to watch All In. We will try to stream it. That's the plan as of now is to stream it. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into these predictions. We'll start off with the Zero Hour. We've got a mixed tag team match. We have Willow Nightingale teaming with Tomohiro Ishii. Versus Chris Statlander and Stokely Hathaway. And the winners of this match will get to choose the stipulation between uh, um, Nightingale and Statlander at All Out in a few weeks. I'm going to pick Statlander and Stokely Hathaway. I don't know why, but for some reason reason something is telling me they're going to win this match. And so that's where I'm going here. Statlander and Hathaway. Up next we have the Casino Gauntlet match. The winner gets a guaranteed world title match. Now I'm not sure of all of the competitors in this match. I don't pay too much attention to AEW. I watch enough and keep up enough to know what's going on, but that's about it. I do know for sure Hangman Page is in this. I feel like this could be the match where we see a debut like a Ricochet or maybe like a Bobby Lashley or somebody who just recently left WWE. I read something yesterday. I'm filming this Friday. I read something yesterday that apparently Ricochet has signed with AEW. So it wouldn't surprise me if Ricochet is in this match. But I'm picking Hangman Adam Page to win. I feel like he needs to win. So, yeah, I'm picking him. Okay, we have a ladder match. Fatal four-way ladder match for the AEW trios titles. We've got the Bang Bang Gang versus House of Black versus the Patriarchy versus Pac, Claudio Castagnoli, and Wheeler Yuta. And I'm picking Pac, Claudio, and Wheeler Pac was didn't get his moment last year at All In, and I think this year is time to get his moment. Plus, you got Claudio, who's from that area of the world as well. And I'm not sure where uh, Wheeler Yuta is from, but yeah, I'm picking them three. Pack, Claudio, and Wheeler for the win. Speaking of for the win, Hook versus the FTW champion, Chris Jericho. Hook better freaking win this match. Don't get me wrong, I love Chris Jericho. I always have. I just don't like this current iteration of him. The learning tree, to me, might be the worst gimmick Chris Jericho has ever had. Or at least one of the worst. I do not like this version at all. Don't get me wrong, it's awesome that we're still seeing Chris Jericho compete when he's, what, 54 years old? And still competing at a kind of decent level? It's just this character, just, I don't care. And I really hope Hook wins. And this way we never have to see this match again. Because I'm tired of this feud as well between Hook and Jericho. 
So Hook better win this match. That's my pick. Triple threat match for the AEW Tag Team Titles. FTR versus The Acclaimed versus The the Young Bucks. I am going to pick The Acclaimed, and here's why. This feud between FTR and The Young Bucks have been going on for a very, very long time. And to the point where I'm starting to kind of get tired of seeing their matches. Not fully, just just a, a little tired of seeing them. And so they throw the acclaimed in there just to split this up and give it something different. So they're basically... The acclaimed are, if you think about it, kind of the underdogs in this match. Should always root for the underdogs. So I'm picking the acclaimed. Because why not? Um, Britt Baker versus the TBS champion, Mercedes Monet. I'm going to pick Britt Baker here. I know Mercedes Monet hasn't really had the title that long. But, hear me out. I have Britt Baker win. But then have Mercedes Monet enter the AEW women's title picture. Maybe not soon, but by the end of the year. Like December-ish. Whichever AEW pay-per-view is in December. Throw Mercedes Monet in that picture. Have Britt Baker win the TBS title. Have her be... Would she be the first person to hold both the the women's title and the TBS title? I don't know. I don't watch enough AEW to know that. But 24-7, if you know, text me and let me know. But, yeah, Britt Baker for the win. Let's see here. What else do I have here? A coffin match between Darby Allin and the TNT champion Jack Perry. And the TNT title is on the line. <sighs> so you, you have Darby Allen in a coffin match, which is always fun to watch. And then you've got Jack Perry. I read something that I guess Sting supposedly is going to all in. I don't know if he'll get involved in this match and help Darby Allen win. It would make sense. I think Sting is done competing for sure. He had his last match at Revolution, and I don't think he's going to have another match. But I do think he'll be around in the bubble and make a few special appearances here and there. So he's not going to compete. He's just he. I could see him doing something. To maybe help Darby Allen try to win. But I don't think that's... I, I, I think Sting could show up. But I don't think Darby's actually going to win. I think my official pick... I'm g- going the safe route here. I'm picking Jack Perry. I don't know. I just... I feel like Jack Perry is the safe... The safe route here for this match so yeah Jack Perry for the win Uh, let's see here we have the AEW American Championship International Championship on the line the champion MJF defending against the man who he beat for it just not that long ago a couple weeks ago Will Ospreay Will Ospreay is slowly growing on me over time. I haven't seen very many of his matches. Because I... I Honestly, if I'm being 100% honest... I don't watch a whole lot of wrestling outside of WWE. Here and there. And obviously I'm going to be watching All In. But before Ospreay came to AEW... I haven't seen very many of his matches. 
he's really grown on me. And that match he had a dynasty against Brian Danielson. Oh my god. One of the best matches I've ever seen. Again, I don't watch a lot of wrestling outside of AEW. So or outside of WWE, I mean, I'm sorry. So when I say that's one of the best matches I've ever seen, it really truly is. Will Ospreay is really growing on me a lot, and I'm starting to, to love him. However, however, I'm not picking him to win. I'm picking MJF, and here's why. MJF wins. After the match, then, Adam Cole shows up. He beats up MJF and announces that he is cleared to compete, and then at All Out in two weeks or a couple weeks, we get Adam Cole versus MJF, and Adam Cole wins the title, becomes champion. That's that's my pick right there. That's what I think is going to happen. So I'm picking MJF for the win. Maybe, maybe I could see even Adam Cole just kind of, even if it's, so I could see a scenario where Osprey wins because Adam Cole shows up and distracts MJF. I could see that too, and then we get MJF and Adam Cole at all out in a non-title match. I could see that too, but I kind of want Adam Cole as champion in AEW, so that's why I'm picking it this way. So this way Adam Cole can then beat MJF for the title at all out. Um, Tony Storm defending the AEW women's title against Mariah May. Mariah May needs to win this match. It is her time to win this match. I personally am not the biggest fan of this current character of Tony Storm, this old Marilyn Monroe type thing. She's still phenomenal in the ring. Her matches are still very entertaining. It's just her character right now I'm not the biggest fan of. Mariah May, though, she is one of them wrestlers where if you don't push her now and don't give her the title now, it may never happen. She needs this title now. It's her time now. And she better win. She's my pick to win at All In. She's got to beat Tony Storm to become champion. So she's my pick. Uh, okay. One match to go. The main event. The one match that everyone has been looking forward to since it was announced. Probably going to be maybe the best match on the show. The AEW World title. Swerve Strickland is the champion. And he is defending against Brian Danielson. And the stipulation is if Brian Danielson loses, he retires from pro wrestling. So over the past couple weeks, I've been watching a lot of interviews and listening to a lot of podcasts with Brian Danielson. And listening to those has made me really, has made my pick for this match really easy. I'm going to pick Swerve Strickland to win. Brian Danielson, first off, he hurt his neck in his match against Osprey at Dynasty. And he said in a couple of those interviews and podcasts that he will need neck surgery before the end of the year. So so there's that. Plus, I feel like Wembley Stadium in London, that's one of those places where... You don't really get to wrestle at too often. 
And it would be, because of that reason alone, it would be a great place to retire if you think about it. Brian Danielson will actually retire on his own terms, unlike nine years ago. But I could honestly see a scenario, though, where he wins and then we get the rematch at Wrestle Dream in October because both men are from Washington. Wrestle Dream is in Seattle. So I have Danielson hold the title until Wrestle Dream in October, drop it, maybe back to Swerve in Seattle. And then retire there. I could see that as a possibility. But I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like Swerve is probably going to win here. And Danielson is going to retire here. That's the safe bet, honestly. It's not what a lot of people want. Because there's a lot of Danielson fans around. But I feel like Swerve is a safe bet. And that's what I'm going with. I'm picking Swerve. Strickland for the win. But guys, that is it. That is my AEW All In 2024 predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The reviews are coming back this upcoming week after All In. I will be doing a review of it. So the weekly reviews will be back. And then the following week after that, 24 7, we'll be reviewing Bash in Berlin. So the the reviews are coming back. We are streaming all in, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure if 24-7 is going to stream Bash in Berlin. We're not watching that one uh, together. He may stream it. He may not. I don't know. But stay tuned. More videos to come. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your predictions for all in in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.